Hello, my name is Katrina Cornish and I'm a professor at The Ohio State University working in the field of bioemergent materials. Natural rubber is extremely important to any developed country. We use it in enormous quantities. The most, four most important natural resources we have are air, water, petroleum, and rubber comes in at number four. So if we don't have natural rubber, your good medical gloves are gone. Your tires have gone back to the old-fashioned bias and you can't drive faster than 35 miles an hour. The Independent Rubber Study Group has estimated that by the end of this decade, the global supply will be shortfalled by about 1.5 million metric tons. Now that's the same as the US having no natural rubber for five and a half of the next eight years. The solution is domestically grown alternate rubber crops. There are over 40,000 different things made with natural rubber and over 400 medical devices. Everybody has thought of natural rubber being just from the Brazilian rubber tree because that's where it's come from for the last 120 years. And I'm working in bioemergent materials, everything from the crop all the way down through processing to the product. So for example, with the Kazakh dandelion we work on, which we call Buckeye Gold as the crop, Every 50,000 acres of Buckeye Gold will generate about 4,500 jobs. We have room here to grow several million acres of dandelion rubber in this part of the country. My whole career has been looking at things that can go from the basic research through the applied to the application. And my position here really is research, development and commercialization. You have to grow it all together, so you need a small acreage with a small processing plant with a small market and try and build those all up together. You don't want to put too much acreage in first if it's got no place to get processed. But what we're looking at is having not just the agriculturally based jobs, but the processing jobs, then the manufacturing jobs. And you'll be able to go and get your next pair of rubber boots will actually be grown in Ohio, not just potentially made in Ohio.